hey my loves welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time welcome make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you are notified every single time that i post the video from the title you guys can tell that today we're going to create this sleigh this back to school sleigh makeup look i would say give yourself about 30 minutes to do this look but compared to like the usual looks that take some time this is super fast and easy i'm using affordable slash drugstore products in this tutorial i will try to link as many of them down in the bio just so that it's easy for you to locate them and heads up for this tutorial i was unable to show you guys how i do my eyebrows this is because if you follow me on social media especially on snapchat you know that yesterday i got my first semi-permanent treatment done to my eyebrows so right now i can't apply anything on them i can only apply products around them however the good thing about this is that a few days ago i uploaded an updated brow routine for you guys so if you want to know how i got my brows done just check out that video i will link it down below for you guys i'll probably feature it up here somewhere as well so first guys i'm gonna dip into my sigma warm neutral eyeshadow palette for this eye look is gonna be super simple just because i'm aware that this is pretty much an everyday look um, I'm just going to grab the mauve cool toned pink and I'm going to put that in my crease. Then grabbing the pink that has some shimmer to it, I'm going to pop that onto my eyelids. Now I'm just applying some mascara onto my natural eyelashes. This helps the fake eyelashes to look more natural when I apply them onto my eyelashes as they blend in better. So I'm just going to grab my nude eyelashes from the VN Lux collection. Guys, these eyelashes are everything. And I'm going to apply some glue on it. Then I'm going to first stick the eyelashes down in the center. And then I'm going to stick down the edges. And to do so, I'm using an angled tweezer. So guys, I'm using the NYX HD Studio Primer. I love this primer because it's a water-based primer and it really helps to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines on the face. I've realized that of recent I've been getting oily, so this primer is really, really good for me. And as foundation, guys, I'm using the ColourPop Concealer um, Sticks. Guys, these are so pigmented. They are everything. And I feel, I think they're only $8 or $6. So I would definitely advise getting your hands on those. And then I'm using my Real Techniques buffer brush just to blend that all in. And then using a lighter shade in a concealer, I'm just going to highlight my face. And um, please don't worry guys, I'm going to list everything in the bio um, from the name and shades of the concealers that I'm using from Colourpop now i'm just blending that in with a damp beauty blender from real techniques And then using a darker shade in the concealer, I'm now going to contour my face. Guys, as you can see, I'm creating dotted lines on my face as opposed to just sweeping it across my face. Just because these concealers are so pigmented, you don't want to apply too much product. So when contouring, I prefer to just dot it on there to be on the safe side. And then using my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder, I'm just going to set the areas on my face which are highlighted. In the bio guys, there's going to be a discount code for you guys that are interested in purchasing this product. Using the discount code, you will get 10% off on your first order. And to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to use my Sephora Face Powder in Deep 54. To line my lips, I'm using Rimmel London's Lip Liner. I'm not too sure on the name, so I'm going to have it in the bio down below. Sorry, not the name, the shade. I'm going to have it down in the bio for you guys below. Guys, this lip liner is a very nice brown. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. Mm -hmm. 
and using my favorite liquid lipstick i'm just gonna apply some of my candy rose and this is in shade mauve now i'm just gonna grab my makeup geek blusher in covey covet <laughs> and i'm gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks and now I'm just going to dust off the excess powder that's on my face from when I was baking using my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup. If you're from the UK, you would definitely know that Freedom is a drugstore product. Um, I bought their highlighter a while ago and I couldn't really remember what it looked like. So I thought, let me try it for this look. And guys, it was pretty okay. Like it gave me a very subtle glow, a very natural subtle glow, which I enjoyed. To get rid of the powdery look on my face, I'm just going to spray some of my Max Fix Plus spray onto my face. In my waterline, I'm just going to apply my Maybelline Coal Eyeliner. Guys, this eyeliner is about, I think it's between three and five pounds and it's so black. I love it. And in my tear duct, I'm going to grab that Freedom highlighter and I'm just going to pop it in there. And then now I'm just going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. And once my mascara has dried, I'm just going to grab my Fix Plus spray again and spray that onto my face. Now I'm aware that I'm super late with this tutorial. I'm so sorry guys, I've been super busy with other things and um, you know what, in London I think the official back to school date is tomorrow which is the 6th of september so hopefully this comes out tonight so you guys can slay your back to school look please have a wonderful year at school i wish you guys the best stay safe do well get those grades so that you can get your shmoney bye Mwah.